Welcome to battle number seven of week number five of the FNF Victory Road Draft League, season two. This battle is going to be pitting Benjamator 67's team, which is the Star Conquerors, versus Fingered Witch's team, which is Night Wishy Washy. As a reminder, the Mega Pokemon available in this battle are Mega Swampert and Mega Altaria, respectively. There are no Z Pokemon on Benji's team, and on Fingered Witch's team, we have Electros with Z attack privilege. This is going to be an interesting battle that pits uh, Benji's newly acquired Rain team versus Fingered Witch's team, which has some players that we've seen before. So this battle will be pretty, pretty fun to watch. Uh, I think it'll be a big test to see who could break through who. Already I'm looking at Wishy Washy who can take advantage of the rain. Electros does look like an interesting Pokemon in this as well, being able to threaten some water types and levitate to take advantage of that earthquake from Mega Swampert. It could probably switch in. Vaporeon will be an interesting choice with Hydration and the Rain. And then also we have Gar Garbodor's first appearance. It could set up Toxic Spikes, so perhaps we'll see that. So let's take a look at this battle and see how the, these players fight each other. Sorry if I'm like stuttering, the music is really loud in my ears. So <laughs> it's like kind of messing with me. All right, so we're gonna begin. Okay, and it looks like we're going to start with Pelipper, Gypsero setting up that Drizzle, and Poseidon, the Wishy Washy, is going to come out first. Poseidon will be able to take advantage of this rain, and Poseidon's going to U-turn out. That Toxic is going to affect Poseidon. And in comes Zeus the Electros. Or Electros, I don't know what to call it. Zeus is going to go for that Volt Switch. It takes down Gypseros the Pelipper, and that's the first Pokemon to go down in this match. Score is 5 6. It looks like Gypsero, uh, sorry, Zeus is going to be able to do a good job versus Vaporeon as well. And Demi Spinelu comes out versus Namiel the Swampert. Interesting choice for Swampert considering it's Leaf Storm will do big damage. Ice Punch is going to do big damage, but Leaf Storm will take down Mega Swampert in one shot and also raise Deme Spinelu's special attack stat by two stages. I don't know if it's Deme Spinelu or Demi Spinelu. I'm going to guess it's Deme Spinelu. And Rajang the Buzzwool comes out. Good matchup for Rajang. I don't, I don't know if it's Rajang or Rajang as well. <laughs> Uh, but it looks like Rajang is going to take down Spinelu, and that's the first Pokemon that Benji is able to take down. Buzzwool does have that 1.5 times attack bonus as well, so this is going to be something that's going to be tough for Fingered Witch to take down. There is still Altaria with that return. Will it be able to take out Rajang before Rajang's Poison Jab takes it out? And indeed, Artemis the Altaria comes in. Artemis is pretty threatening with that return, and it is going to go for the Body Slam actually instead, paralyzing Rajang, and Rajang is not going to be able to move due to the paralysis. Really, really lucky move for Fingered Witch. Steelix comes out, Bravios. That body slam is going to hit Steelix hard, but it can't be paralyzed. Well, it can be paralyzed, because uh, it's a ground type, actually can from body slam. 
Gaia the Neo King comes out, taking that Gyro Ball. It does 33%. Gaia is now poised to go for that Earth Power. Nothing can really come in on that Earth Power. And indeed, the Earth Power is going to do big damage, taking down Celix. Score is 3-5. Cam, cam, camelos, cam, camelios. <laughs> I'm so bad with these names today. I'm so sorry, guys. And guy's gonna go for that earth power. It does big damage to camelios. 16% HP now. The earth power will be able to take it down once more. The pain split does share their pain, but the earth power does take it down. Camelios is down. In comes Plesioth v Vaporeon. And a Sludge Wave does some decent damage, but Scald is going to take down Gaia the Nidoking. Vaporeon is sitting pretty comfortably at 72% right now. Electros is still going to be a problem for Benji's two final Pokemon. And indeed, we do see Zeus the Electros come out. Plesioth goes for the Protect, and the Z-Move... Bloom Doom is going to hit through the Protect. Doesn't do that much damage because Protect weakens Z moves, but that was still something. Volt Switch hits Plesioth hard. And in comes Wishy Washy. Poseidon the Wishy Washy is affected by Toxic. And Plesioth's gonna go for the Protect. Hidden Power does not go through that Protect, and Plesioth is standing against with his back against the wall while things on. Uh, Fingered Witch's team takes to take toxic damage. Wish goes up once again, and Hidden Power is going to do minor damage to Plesioth. Meanwhile, Wishy Washy is still taking that protect damage. Sorry, that toxic damage, not protect damage. Buzzwool comes out taking the Ice Beam. Nice predict on that. But Buzzwool is going to be healed by that Wish. Poseidon Citrus Berry is going to let it live a little longer. Toxic damage is racking up, though. And a Poison Jab is going to do some damage. Surf is going to do some big damage too, 40%. But Poseidon is now in its base form. Another Surf does 14%. And the Paralysis is going to mean that Rajang does not get to take down Wishy Washy and therefore does not activate Beast Boost. In comes Altaria. And Artemis Altaria hits with a hard hitting Body Slam. It's going to take Plesioth, the Vaporeon, down to 19%. Plesioth stalls out a little bit with Protect. And the Body Slam takes down Plesioth. Buzzwool now stands with its back against the wall, paralyzed. And indeed, in comes Rajang, the Buzzwool, and a Body Slam is going to take it out. And the final score is 3-0 for Fingered Witch's team, which is Night Wishy Washy over Benjamator 67's team, which is uh, the Star Conquerors. Really good match, fast paced, very fast paced. That Body Slam did do a lot of damage on Buzzwool and also paralyzed it. Interestingly, the paralysis did mean that Buzzwool was uh, was paralyzed, and that really did harm Benji's team. Um, but I think that that's the that's kind of the trade-off. I think if Return was used, that actually might have been able to take it down uh, or Hyper Voice. But that's the trade-off with Body Slam for that paralysis chance. Um, very good match between both sides. So. That was the last on-time battle of week five. There's going to be one more uh, match of week five 
hopefully on Monday between Colin and Edgar. They're not uh, battling before the weekly recap. So that will come up hopefully soon. Stay tuned for that. Until then, this is Noel from Sun Friendly. See you then.